Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy upon us and upon the whole world. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of of the blessed Apostle Paul. Draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today. And so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words. I am a Jew, born in Tarsus and Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was zealous for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them I even received letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those who are there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companion saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companion and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law, and highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. And at that very moment I regained my sight and saw him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors designated you to do his, know his will, to see the righteous one, and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now, why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all the nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfastness is kindness toward us, 
and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out, Go out into the, the world, world and tell, tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> the story of Paul is one of amazing grace, filling the life of one person. We have to remember that Paul was, was determined to destroy the Christian movement, to destroy all those who said they were following the new way because they weren't called Christians yet actually until Paul helps to name them Christians but Paul was determined to destroy them rounding them up having them arrested having them put to death in fact he cooperated in the the death of the first martyr of the church Stephen and yet he gets knocked off his high horse by a blinding light and his life changes forever. It says that Paul took all of those who believed in the way and he had them bound and taken away against their will. Well, the Lord ends up binding Paul to himself and also taking him away. And Paul will speak of that later on in his writings how he is consumed and how he is become the slave of Christ to go and do anything that he is asked to do. The amazing thing also is that in this experience, Paul learns the theology he teaches later because Jesus says to him, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Jesus identifies with the people as he always does. He is to be found in his church, in his people. So Paul learns that, and he ends up teaching the depth of our theology about all of us being the body of Christ, that we are one in Christ, and we are Christ in the world. Paul's theology all stems from this moment when God knocked him off his horse, and Jesus speaks to him, and makes him realize that if he's persecuting the church, he's persecuting Jesus. And therefore, Paul becomes the spokesperson of Christ to draw thousands upon thousands into the church. May we know that the Lord also uses us, perhaps not as profoundly as Paul, but we can be certain that sometimes he may need to knock us off our high horse. Let us stand to pray. We bring our prayers before the Lord today, confident in his gracious mercy towards us. For all in the church who continue the ministry entrusted to the apostles, may they be empowered daily by God's gifts let us pray to the Lord. Lord For world leaders, may their hearts be converted by the Spirit who pours out truth and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who struggle with questions and doubts, 
May the Spirit draw them more deeply into the heart and peace of Christ Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For this worshiping community, may we receive all we need to carry the good news to those in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who have died, may their souls, through the mercy of God, rest in peace, most especially for Margaret Lawson, who is remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Amen. For whom else shall we pray? Okay. My brother. For your brother, who did he pass away? Yeah, one year ago. One year ago today. For him, we pray to the Lord. Amen. 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 Pray for Tom uh, Falakara, who was a homeless man who depended upon us for many things, who passed away uh, the other day in Maryland. For him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, you send us into the world filled with your power and love. Hear and answer our prayers today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we <coughs> offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed yes. be God forever. Yes. Lord, because of the sacrifice we offer you, Lord, come to your house, wash me from my iniquities, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with the light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your gospel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Margaret, being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Paul, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray now in confidence the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer each other a sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Frankenstein. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us the fire of charity with which the blessed apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his witness to the concern of the churches. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing the second verse of our hymn. Which I think I said. Number 717. Each newborn servant of the crucified bears on the brow the seal of him who died. Lift high the cross, the love of Christ proclaim, till all the world adore his sacred name. Good day, all.